Hi guys! Welcome back to another unboxing. We're going to cover how to safely buy from Facebook Marketplace. So if you're new around here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be updated with everything that we do. So because it is locked down, there are hardly any shops that's open. So it's only the essential shops that you can go to, like supermarkets. All those retail shops are now closed. All we can do at the moment if you want to buy something is to do online shopping. And I've been into Facebook a lot uh, during this lockdown period and I've been seeing a lot of good deals at Marketplace. They also sell some luxury brands, so of course they are secondhand already, but you can find really good deals there. So I've already bought a couple of bags from Marketplace and... I got one here that just arrived today. It took a while because Australia Post has been so busy. So let's open this baby up. Ah, there we go. Aha! Here we are. So we've disinfected the bag first before I touched it. I've sprayed it with Glen 20 and here is the bag. Again, another YSL bag. I'm so addicted to YSL, you can see. <laughs> and here is the bag. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yay! It is beautiful. This is a YSL medium Hollywood bag. Um, I guess I'll give a thorough review next time of the bag. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks like. And this is from Facebook Marketplace. Still really good quality. All the zips work. It's very clean. It's very, very clean. And let me just check the zips. The zips work properly. So the bag looks like that. Oh, cool. I've seen it from a seller. Uh, it is a second-hand one, um, and she um, she posted photos there. And yeah, so basically, I guess um, you have to establish trust with with your seller first. Check as much documents, like if they have the original receipt and when they bought it. I guess you can also check their Facebook profile page on you know um, how long have they been on Facebook because um, there are some dodgy accounts that just opened it you know like this year or whenever you'll just be very cautious with that so with my seller she's been on Facebook for a while and she's also been selling um other things so you can see you know how legit the seller is anyway do your research and also if you're going to pay for the item make sure that you pay through PayPal so that you are covered um, I know they, they charge a bit extra for insurance so I think around 10% but if you're willing to shoulder that just for peace of mind do it especially if you know your item is a bit expensive this one I bought for $800 she got it for almost 4,000 Australian dollars um, that's why I Think it's a really good bargain because even if it's secondhand it's still a, in a very good condition and it's just a fraction of the cost so that's how i upgrade my bags i actually sold a couple of my ysl bags as well so that i can upgrade to a bigger bag and yeah and save up a bit as well um so i can get a new bag for my collection and yeah so far i'm happy with the transactions i'll show you the other one so this is another bag that i got is it pretty <laughs> it's another bag that i got from facebook marketplace again um she's been selling this because she is relocating and um she needed funds um and she needed to let go of this bag it's still in a very good condition on the shops this retails for 
maybe around two thousand dollars or a, a bit over that uh, but I got this for four hundred dollars you just have to do your research to make sure that the bag is authentic so she's very honest with me with you know how, what the condition of the bag is which is really not too bad for four hundred dollars and for a luxury brand it's really good i compared the photos of the seller's item to the original bag in the ysl website just compare it like small details like you know any any ysl branding on on the hardware how it looks the stitchings and also the um the labels inside yeah and and also ask if they have a receipt when they bought it and maybe compare price as well with other um, second-hand websites like like eBay or Sense I think or Farfetch Rebonds do have second-hand ones so you just compare like your price if it's reasonable yes so so far so good I had no problems with the marketplace I think I had more problems with eBay there are a lot more counterfeit items there so just be very careful to pay those items with PayPal so you're always always insured and they'll give you a refund if the if the item is counterfeit um, I had an experience last month where the item came and it's and it's fake so I had to send it back to the seller and I told her that's not an authentic item and, and not to sell it anymore on eBay so and I got the money back so she refunded me through PayPal just ask as many questions to your seller about the bag uh, don't be shy you know just ask where they bought it um, how much they bought it for just to make sure that it's really authentic and most of the time you know if they're really genuine sellers they will tell you how they obtained the bag and that also another thing is I also look for how the dust bags look if they have one on their photos because you can actually tell if the dust bag is authentic as well or not if you're used to the, to the luxury brands already so yeah i think those are my pointers explore facebook marketplace it's amazing and i find a lot of deals there um, next time i'll show you the chanel bag that i got and of course don't forget to try and disinfect the bags once you got it just because of you know the virus that's going around to make sure that it's clean that's pretty much it and that's it for this video guys i hope that the tips has helped you and if you got any questions hit me up on the comment section below and i will answer them as soon as i can and as always keep safe guys and always take care till our next vlog bye